This is Express Written Consent. I am JB. Will Wheaton. Hello. Having a seat in the Klondike Suite. Thanks for being here, man. Thanks, man. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, now, the word is, the word on the street, that's where I get all my information. It's a good place to go dig up words. It's better than Wikipedia. We're yeah, sure. The same. Uh, you're a Dodgers fan, but for real. I've been a Dodger fan my entire life. My personal family history yes. is interwoven with the Dodgers all the way back to 1955. For 55? Yeah. Okay. So my great-grandmother was on the board of Parks and Recreation and uh, was part of the vote that put Dodger Stadium where it is today. And, really? Yeah. And my, uh, my great-grandmother for history fans, well, it was Dorothy Morton, or she, better known as Mrs. Uh, Harold C. Morton. Okay. And uh, my family has actually had season tickets three rows behind the Dodger dugout Wow! Um, as long as I can remember. I pretty much grew up in this stadium. And it wasn't until I was 10 or 11 years old that I figured out that Vin Scully came out of all the radios that were all over the place. <laughs> I just figured, oh, that's the voice of baseball. Yeah. So, like, that's, that, that is, you know, the way that someone growing up in Chicago would think of Harry Carey as the voice of baseball. Uh -huh. Vin Scully is very much the voice of baseball for me. And well, it's weird coming to games now and not hearing him out of the transistor radios everywhere I go. It's pretty wild, right? But yeah. I mean, that's, you, if you're going to get stuck with the voice of baseball, you, you, yeah. you pulled a pretty good straw on that one. Right? It's pretty good. <laughs> of all the work that you are doing and all those things, the podcast, the blog, the author, voice acting, the Twitterverse, the tabletop show, the guild, is, is there any one of them bringing you more satisfaction right now, or is, it, is that what's bringing you the satisfaction, is that whole array? I just love that I can make a living being creative and doing things that I love and that I get to share these things that I love with so many people That's awesome. all over the world. I'm really, really proud of Tabletop um, because it's my idea yeah. that has been brought to life with the help of some really talented, really wonderful people, and uh, we're sort of bringing gaming to the world in a way that nobody ever did it before. Yeah. Now, for those that don't know exactly what Tabletop is or where it is, do explain. Tabletop is a show that I co-created with Felicia Day. It runs on her channel, Geek and Sundry, on YouTube. It's at youtube.com slash geek and sundry. The concept of the show is we get together with interesting people we know from TV and movies and music and writers and, and, and the internet, and we play board games. And, uh, and then we just sort of have a really good time doing it, and it's a real good way to introduce people to board games. Uh, it's one of my like lifelong passions and hobbies, yes. and um, I wanted to do something that would let people who are in, like, I'm in a mixed marriage, like, I'm a nerd and I'm married to a muggle, <laughs> and uh, I sort of thought that... If I could do a thing that could let gamers show their non-gaming partners yeah. why we do what we do yeah. and maybe put more gamers into the world, um, then that would be, on balance, a really good thing. Start, bench, cut. Picard, Janeway, Kirk. I'm starting Picard, I'm cutting Kirk, and I'm benching Janeway. Done. With authority. Yeah. Because blood is thicker than everything else. Love it. You're a huge video game aficionado. We yep. all know that. We're very excited about that. Start, bench, cut. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Galaga. I'm going to cut Donkey Kong because I cannot get past <laughs> the fifth level of Donkey Kong no matter what. I'm starting Galaga because if it's three shots on a screen, Galaga, I can actually play until I'm bored. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bench Pac-Man because I think he's just earned a rest. I want to keep Pac-Man rested for the postseason. <laughs> Excellent strategy. Yeah. All right, we've talked about your many varied sundry skills and attributes. Start, bench, cut. Video games, role-playing games, comic books. Oh, that's terrible. Yes. Why don't you just ask me which of my children I want to drown? That's, well, because that would be that's awkward. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, video games, comic books, or role-playing games. I'm going to start role-playing games. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This is awful. It's this is the worst. This is the worst decision I've ever had to make. That's the premise of the show. I'm going to start uh, role playing games and retire. Oh, wow. Uh, no, I won't cop out. Um, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to bench. OK, I got it. I'm going to start role playing games. I'm going to uh, bench comic books. OK. And I'm going to cut video games because 
I play video games for story. Okay. And uh, I, I should theoretically be getting the same sort of emotional, rewarding story experience out of playing a role-playing game that I get out of the video games that I love. Well done. And, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and give comics a break, and uh, comics will be there when I'm done with my role-playing game. There you go. Well, I am a wizard from the future, mm. and I have an army of clones. Oh. Yeah. That it's would really explain. great. Every now and then one gets out and we have to terminate it, but generally speaking, it's the clones are a good thing to have. I call him Evil Will Wheaton. 